Fishing in Turret can be a snooze, but waiting around for the rare item you're trying to get doesn't have to be so long. There are a total of 11 fishing poles in Terraria, all of which provide different fishing powers and make rare catches like crates, weapons, and unique fish a lot easier to get. All of them except one are available to get pretty hard mode, and most of them are craftable while some are bought and obtained through other means. <laughs> The first one is a wood fishing pole, which can be crafted at a workbench with 8 wood. It provides 5% fishing power and is the weakest pole in the game, meant to be used only very very early game if at all. Second is a reinforced fishing pole, crafted with 8 iron or lead bars and an anvil. This is also another uncommonly used pole, since it only gives 15% fishing power and there are much better early game poles, specifically the next two. Third, we have the Fisher of Souls, crafted with 8 bars and an anvil and providing a decent 20% fishing power. 10-30 to 30 demonite bars drop from the Eye of Cthulhu, meaning that if you have the corruption, this is the best early game fishing rod to use. If you have the crimson, nope! Fourth is the Flesh Catcher, which has 22% fishing power, 2% more than its corruption counterpart, the Fisher of Souls. It's crafted with 8 crimtain bars and an anvil. Now we start getting into more mid game poles like the fifth one, the Chum Caster. It's obtained with a 12.5% chance from the Wandering Eyefish and Zombie Merman, which only spawn when fishing in the Blood Moon. It has 25% fishing power. Six is the Scarab Fishing Rod, obtained by fishing in the Desert Bound with a 12.5% chance from Mirage and Oasis Crates. Seventh is one of my favorites, the Fiberglass Fishing Pole. It's found in Bramble Crates, Jungle Crates, and Ivy Chests in the Jungle, and gives you a solid 30% fishing power. It's one of my favorites because of how good it is and how easy it is to obtain from ivy chests. Eighth is a mechanics rod, sold by her during these moon phases for 20 gold. It provides 35% bait power and is also another great choice once you beat Skeletron. Ninth is perhaps the best pole in the game, the Sitting Ducks pole with 40% fishing power. And not most powerful in terms of fishing power, but in terms of how easy it is to obtain. It's sold by the traveling merchant after Skeletron has been defeated for 35 gold rarely, who comes about 1 in every 5 in-game days. It's pretty easy to get, so after you beat Skeletron, try to save up 35 gold and get this pole. Ten is the hotline fishing hook with 45% fishing power and it has a 1.33% chance of being obtained in hard mode after completing 25 angler quests, making it a very hard fishing pole to get. It's also able to fish in lava without the lava proof fishing hook or tackle bag. 11th is the golden fishing rod which is awarded after exactly 30 angler fishing quests and is the best fishing pole in the game with a powerful 50% fishing power. Some other common ways to increase your fishing power are the fishing potions, crate potions, chum buckets and more. For a video on the 6 main ways to increase your fishing power and how to quickly build your own fishing pool check out the link in the description. Comment down below which fishing pole is the coolest looking, setting ducks for me, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Peace.